Hi, I'd like to speak with Bradley Larson. Oh, are you a friend of his? Not as such, but I do know his sister. I see. Well, it's nice of you to visit, but I wouldn't expect much conversation. Mr. Larson hasn't been able to say a word for well over a year now. His dementia reached stage seven long ago. But go on in. I'll give you some privacy. Qualifier in New Zealand yesterday. The men's eight set a record time, easily defeating the Germans and the Dutch, who placed a distant second and third. The women's eight fought it out in a real tussle down the course. I'm sorry, Bagley. I know this isn't what you were expecting. I have to talk to him. Cast me to the telly. Listen, you don't know me, but I know you. I've done a lot of searching, and I do think I know you. You were a rower. You loved and were loved. You liked strawberries. You had a sister you trusted, and she hurt you. And I'm sorry. You deserve better. But nothing Sky did to you changes who you are. You lived a life that I never could. You're a good person, and I am someone else. This has been an illuminating conversation. Thank you, Bradley. I'm glad I finally met you. So long, Bradley. Well, Bagley, I mean, should we call you Bradley now? No, no, I'm Bagley. I'm sure of it now. Bradley and I just share a common ancestor. Anyway, I appreciate this. And if you ever tell anyone else I said that, I will coldly and methodically engineer all of your deaths. Of course, Spags. Okay.